Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 10 of the September Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about today's poem. Uh, yeah. Uh, as you know, this is Wednesday, um, but I do, do you know, I record this on Tuesday night. So, um, yeah, and Tuesday, as I said yesterday, and for many weeks, and it will be for probably like t one of my toughest day of um running training that and probably thursdays and maybe sunday i think sunday is actually fine sunday is my long ones but and where i usually run 16 to 18 miles but honestly that's not that hard because i run it in a, a okay pace uh but the, the hard ones are just hard and it's taking a lot of me um and i have been just kind of bad at sleeping enough um due to i don't know just construction outside etc and timing and stuff like that you know, you can't grow if you don't, don't sleep. You know, that's where it, it uh, happens, right? Same as on lead code. You know, if you don't sleep, you know, you can't just grind things out, you know. Uh, I mean, you can grind things out, but you're not learning if you're not sleeping. So, you know, you have to think about recovery. But in any case, in case my voice is a little bit off, that's maybe why, because I'm... It's just been way, um, you know... All right, let's uh, let's get to this. This is a medium problem. Uh, let's 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 figure this out, and then we will uh, see what's up. Okay, today we have sending the minimum number of people to teach. Okay, you have a social network. M users, two people can talk. They have a common language, in a way. So you're given N, in a way language and their friendships. Their N languages. Okay. Language sub I is a set of languages I have used and know. Okay. Friendship sub fr friendship sub I. Uh, why do they reuse I? In this case, you should just use J, right? Because, you know, I mean, I know that they're not the same I, but people can read it that way. Uh, <clears throat> right. Anyway, friendship is just an edge, right? Keep it lazy. You can choose one language and teach it to some users so that all or, 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 or teach it to some users so that all friends can communicate with each other. Return the minimum number of users you need to teach. Okay. Uh, friendships are not transitive. Oh, that's that's a sad world when and when uh, friendship are not. Oh no no transitive. Okay no. I, I for some reason I read. Uh, is it reflexive or no? I guess reflexive is just if you hate yourself. Uh, but I mean like uh, asymmetric. For some reason I thought, initially I read it as asymmetric and I'd be like, oh, that's a sad bro. If I was your friend and you're not my friend, I'm just like, that's too real. I'm trying to do lead code bombs, not trying to, you know, get shaded on. But in any case, okay. Transitive makes sense. Obviously, if A is a friend of B, B is a friend of C, A is not a friend of C necessarily, right? Uh, yeah, that's why I don't have any friends. I, you know, I have friends of friends instead. But in any case, uh, okay. My first is to look at constraints really quick, just to make sure I don't over-engineer it. We have 500N and 500M, then we are going to be fine. Uh, okay, so... So, I... It's kind of... Um, I'm trying to understand it exactly. In a sense that... Um, so, I'm just looking for my soda. Uh, I, I, I'm so dehydrated as well. I just finished. I mean, I took a shower, but otherwise, uh, I, I just finished uh, uh, the one. But um, it's kind of weird. I mean, it's, uh, I guess it's not. I mean, I know that in real world, you can have friends who don't speak languages sharing. You could use Google Translate or something. But it's still a little bit awkward for, to, ma to make sure that I'm reading that correctly, which is okay. So, yeah. So that means that... Uh, We want to make it so that all f friends can talk to each other. So that means that if one t is connected to two, right, then, uh, yeah. So, okay, so your minimum number of users have to teach. So you have to choose one language and you have to minimize the number of users, right? Uh, okay. Mm. So how many friendships do we have? Friendships is also 500, so that's the number of edges. But more importantly, I mean, it is a graph in some way, but it's also not, right? In the sense that there's, the nodes don't matter that much 
for this problem? That's the first observation. And what I mean by that is that, I mean, yeah, you could say notes are the people and friendship determines the edge and maybe friendship and language or something like that. But the, the, the edge doesn't do anything, right? You're just trying to, it's more like a, a satisfactory problem, right? A sad problem where basically you have M of these things and you're trying to make them all true um, by, you know, uh, uh, them sharing a language. Um, and for, as we saw, having 500 uh, friendships uh, is kind of interesting because then now, you, with 500 friendships, 500 languages, you can just brute force this, right? Because for every language, let's say you want to just brute force what language to teach to as, many, as few people as you can, and then, yeah, and then friendship is just means that if, you, if they're not talking to each other, then you have to there's, if you have one language, that's the only language that you, you know, you only teach them one language, so you use that one. I mean, and of course, there are different ways to do it, but it's all going to be the same, right? Like, in a sense that um, you can loop, like I, I said it in a way that is that for every language, loop for the friendships and, and satisfy them in some way. That's going to be uh L, where L, L is the number of languages, M is the number of friends, or F is friendships, then just L times F, right? Pretty straightforward. Um, 500 square is fast enough. Um, I mean, assuming that you can do lookup languages very quickly, which you have to pre-process, because if, if it takes you, you know, like a long time to do that set in the section, then it becomes slower, right? But otherwise, if you just do like set things and pre-process things, then L times F is going to be good enough, right? Pretty straightforward. Uh, but you can also do, you can think of it another way as well, right? So that's L times F in the sense that we have four language, for for every language, for every friendship. Try something. But you can also do it the other way. You could, for every friendship, um, yeah, just like calculate it for every language and then just loop through it that way. I mean, it's a little bit awkward, I think, in terms of just saying it out loud, I think. Um, and unless there's a benefit, I wouldn't do it that way. Um, but yeah. Sorry, give me a second. We're gonna get a soda real quick. Uh, I'm so dehydrated. Uh, but that's pretty much it, right? I don't think there's anything too difficult unless I'm dumb and kind of miss something, which happens a lot, so. Uh, yeah. Of course, let's pre-process the first thing, right? So, uh, yeah. And oh, n is the number of languages, but languages of i. Or la there's m languages, and I, I, I don't know what they kind of made it inconsistent. But okay, uh, so n is the number of languages. I'm going to take l because I'd like n to be people. You know, n is the number of people. And F is the number of friendships, and then we can pre-process it, right? So then now, um, yeah, for every friendship, well, for every person, first of all, we'll just do, um, yeah, uh, for I in range of N, dot append, just set of languages of I, right? So we just convert it to a set so that we could do lookup in all of one, right? Because we don't really need anything. Is that true? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think this is fine. Uh, because then now for friendship, right? Uh, let's say we have, I'll call it need, needed friendship, right? It's, so these are the friendships that we still need to teach, right? Because they can't talk, um, because we want to process them out, right? So for you, we in friendships, uh, if len sub u and len sub v, so this is the set in this section, if this is greater than zero, or length of this is greater than zero, um, then they do have a friendship, then you're good, right? We're good. So actually, if this is the, the needed, that append, u, v, and that's it. 
right? And this is going to be O of F, and this is O of, um, what is the max language someone knows? I guess N again. It's kind of awkward that they have two things bounded by N. I mean, it's fine. Oh, it's, okay, I don't know. I mean, I guess it makes sense that the way they wrote it, but because they don't have to be the same. But in any case, this is O of F, and this is O of N, and this is, oops, this is O of F. Oh, sorry. This is O of F, and this is O of N, and this is pretty okay, right? O of 1. Um, so then now we go, yeah, for each language. Uh, uh, is it one based? I think it's one based, right? Index 1 to N. Even though I use it. <clears throat> yeah, and then now we maybe have a best. Is you go to have to teach infinity. Maybe you could just even use N, really. Because you could teach everybody a language and that will be fine. But, um... I mean, it's fine, though. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's a sentinel. Uh, but yeah, and then now we have count, which is the number of um, people we have to teach. So then now for you, we uh, need it. So th they both need something, right? So that... Um, hmm, this one, actually, we have to be a little bit careful. Because what I wanted to do is something like if... Uh, what's it called? Land sub u. If l is not in l, l of u, and then we just, you know, we have to teach. Uh, yeah, we want to teach it. If l is not in land sub v, we want to teach it, right? That's it. And this guarantees that they will be taught. But the tricky thing is that um, you can appear in multiple needed friendships. So as a result, you will be double counting, right? So we have to fix it. Uh, but yeah, let's just write this first. Right? And this, and we're good other than that part. So that's one real quick to make sure we don't do anything crazy. Uh, oh, you and we are... Um, I always forget that this is one index. I hate one index. Yeah. Can I change it to zero index? I think so. Let's just do it. But this is zero index. It's actually more confusing, maybe. But okay, this is why we want to run it first, right? Uh, like we said, it's not going to work because you have to. Um, yeah, because if you do teach one and three, it probably I don't know, right? I mean, it, it's for the reason that we always said, um, is that you're undercounting or you're double counting teaching or something. So you just write maybe like uh, added. Is equal to set so the people who are who already added so then now we do something like this and l or if u is not in added then added um dot add u which is okay maybe a little bit whatever but, and you could also make this probably could make this a loop um but uh, maybe it's fine for two things yeah here we YOLO submit. Hopefully I didn't make a silly mistake. And yeah, and we're Gucci. 1989 day streak. And yeah, and that's pretty much it. I think the key thing about this problem is just to, well, look at constraints and then um, make sure you pre-process when you can. Think about pre-processing. Uh, as And oh, this is part of it. This is also part of it, uh, which may be a little bit subtle. Uh, and I would also say that, you know, I wrote it from top to bottom, right? I mean, that's how... I mean, that's how you would like to write code. Um, but some of that requires thinking ahead. And I, I don't know that I take I, I articulated that part clearly, to be frank. Um, and what I mean by that is that, um, yeah, uh, like I did this pre-processing here to set, knowing that, and I talked about this a little bit, where this L and F, knowing that we needed this, this function to be all of one, right? So that's why I kind of wrote it ahead. But it's okay. What I mean is that, you know, if you're starting out and you didn't, like, the way that I did it is because I always thought about it. I always knew what I wanted to do. But you don't always think that way, right? And for harder problems, I don't always think that way. Sometimes I write things that, like, maybe in this case, I would maybe skip this. Maybe I just, I don't know, a different day, I, I just didn't think about it, right? And then when I wrote this, I'm like, oh, this is O of L. This is O of F. But wait, this is O of N as well. What can I do to make this 
you know, fast enough all of one, right? Oh, wait, I can just make this in a set. We don't need the original thing. And then you go back, add in the pre-processing, and then now this is all of one, and you're Gucci, right? Um, same, I mean, to a lesser degree, same thing here, I guess. It's a little bit, um, because I guess this isn't technically necessary, because you can, because this still happens for, well, you have to check, the, uh, maybe it is, I don't know. Because you have to check for other languages, so maybe this is kind of necessary. But um, but you maybe if you didn't think about this, then um, later on an example or, or you just get a wrong answer, you have to figure it out. That comes with experience and practice and knowing what you want to do. Um, like I said, the way that I wrote it is, you know, I, I already knew what I wanted to do, right? But that comes with practice and experience and so forth, so... Yeah, there are a lot of ways to get it. And that's also where practice comes in handy, right? Because I know what I wanted to do. I could see a little bit forward uh, for this particular one. Sometimes I get on my notebook to kind of, you know, because I can't hold enough things in my head anymore. Um, but yeah, and those are the little things that let you get, do better on on interviews and, and competitive programming, right? Like, for example, I think one, and I don't usually give speeches at the end. Hopefully, you're watching to the end and listening to this part. Uh, and... It's not super long, so let me know in the comments if you're listening here because I am curious who is listening to the end of video speeches. Uh, if, if you are commenting, let me know if you're watching the new TV show, The Paper. I actually just watched The Paper. I fin just finished watching it. It's uh, I like it. It's cute. Uh, it's not perfect. There are little things I complain about, but it's cute. And I watched it, and it, there's a little bit of nostalgia in the same style. But anyway, all right. let me know in the comments if you watch The Paper. Uh, or going to uh, hate it or don't watch it. Anyway, whatever. Just let me know in the comments. But anyway, my, my point here is that, um, yeah. Um, so, you know, I think people do this thing where they always practice harder problems, and that's fine. You need to get that muscle memory on harder problems as well. But I also say, you know, on easier days, you don't have to practice hard problems every day, right? So on some days, just do easier problems and make sure... You work on different things, meaning speed maybe, right? Uh, for Q4s and even Q3s, if you're depending on where you are in you know, your progression, um, sometimes it's very solvable for you, right? Like like you may be on that edge of like, okay, I'm able to solve Q3s sometimes, but not all the times. But sometimes the reason is because, well, maybe Q3 you're able to do it in half an hour, but you're only given 20 minutes because you spent too long on Q1 and Q2. Well, or same thing with Q4, right? If you only have 40 minutes to solve on Q4, but you usually take an hour, well, then, yeah, maybe it is just about getting faster at the other problems to give yourself the best chance to do it. And it's the same thing for interviews sometimes, right? Is that, you know, if you spend a long time on, quote, unquote, the easier portions, then the, the hard po you just don't have enough time to do the hard portions, right? Anyway, that's it. That's the point I want to make. Maybe I'll, I'll make it again and it will seem be done in tomorrow or in the coming days. But yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.